Dear Fern, my wife likes to analyze our sex life, or should I say she likes to overanalyze our sex life. Do we do things the right way? Do we do the things that everybody else does? Do we have sex often enough? Should we do it longer, harder, faster? Should we do it with toys or without? If she would just shut up about it, things would be fine. But she can't seem to do that and it's driving me nuts. Any advice? Sincerely, less talk, more action. Dear Les, so I was watching some reality television the other day. The show was about this guy who didn't have a head. Maybe you saw it. His name was Andros and he was amazing. Of course, he didn't talk much and he had a seeing eye dog. But other than that, he was completely self-sufficient. Now, you'd think that someone like that would be depressed about his lot in life. I mean, I get down on myself if I accidentally put my socks on inside out. Not this guy. He was like a ray of sunshine. He was even engaged to a woman named Suzette, and they made the cutest couple ever. You may assume that Suzette would fess up and admit to wishing that her fiancé was normal, like sometimes, just sometimes, I wish Andros actually had two eyes and nose and a mouth. A kiss every once in a while would be nice. The funny thing was, she seemed to love him in all his headless glory. And it should be the same for you too, Les, neurotic wife or not. But if you're too much of a wet blanket to get past your wife's propensity for investigatory processes, a habit that can prove very, very helpful in quite a few circumstances, then there is one thing I recommend. And I am the perfect person to make this recommendation to, as I am of the same ilk as your wife. Though, unlike you, my husband considers my penchant for analysis a gift. Therefore, all you have to do is give her something to occupy her mind. A few Sudoku and crossword puzzle books should do the trick. If you are really generous, a better husband would be nice. Personally, though, I think you should just be thankful, as Suzette is with Andros, that you even have a sex life, that she even has a head. Be happy and stop your whining. You sound like a damn baby.